Hello ladies and welcome back to another video. I know it's been quite a minute since I've done one. I've been super busy um, with work and just school and life has really been happening <laughs> um, outside of YouTube for me. So sorry. So sometimes I do have to take breaks here and there just to really handle my business. Um, with the COVID numbers going up at my particular facility, um, you know, it's been a lot of changes going on in an apartment. So I've been kind of taking care of that right now. Um, but back to the video. So in my community post, I said that I wanted to talk about black women taking into the fact that maybe they should perhaps be open-minded to a roommate situation um especially if you're a black woman who is trying to achieve higher levels of education you know with trying to achieve higher levels of of education you know a lot of us are grown you know some of you are closer to my age and some of you are in your 30s like me um, so we have a lot of different responsibilities. You have to work full time. Um, you have bills to pay. Um, you know, you have family obligations. Some of you may even have children. So you're probably wondering, how is it that I'm going to juggle having these financial and family responsibilities as well as trying to finish up my classes or go back to school? Well, you know, sometimes in life, to get to where we want, we have to bite the bullet on a lot of things. And I really want black women to be open-minded about this particular living arrangement because, you know, if you have like-minded black women in your circle, you know, have these conversations with each other and be open-minded because if both of you are trying to achieve the same goals maybe even both of you have children why not I mean seriously why not take into, into account of looking at really nice luxury townhomes or apartments that the both of you can go 50 50 on okay and rent together because Okay, if you're getting paid X amount of dollars every two weeks and you know she's making decent money and both of you have a set goal, you know what I mean, as far as education, where you want to be financially, both of you can come together and sit down and talk about budgeting. You guys can talk about, okay, splitting grocery bills, child care, you know, you guys can tag team cooking different nights of the, of the week and, you know, helping to take care of each other's children. And I really feel like this needs to be a phenomenon for black women. I feel like this really needs to be pushed because, you know, it's so beneficial for a lot of us. This can help us save a lot of money. Um, this can help you say, you know, plan your finances better. And not only that, but let's be honest, living with another woman is a lot safer in many aspects than living with a man or whatever. Um, this can also be taken into consideration. You know, if you have really good black female friends, you know, again, like minds, great minds think alike. You guys have the same values. You guys share the same values when it comes to your safety, about allowing men into your space, about allowing men around your children. You guys have like minds and, uh, and share similar interests and values when it comes to finances and money. You know, this is serious because too many black women, I'm just going to say it because I am a watcher of uh, Simply Stephanie's channel. Shout out to her. I watch a lot of her content and a lot of things that she says does resonate with me because what a lot of things that she says, I'm just going to say it, it hits home for a lot of black women who indulge in this YouTube content. And, you know, we need to start being real on these platforms um like seriously you know instead of thinking about a man coming to save you or putting all your ducks in a row to have a man financially help you out no sis you need to start putting all your ducks in a row and connecting with other black women who have the same aspects as you and i'm just gonna flat out say it fuck a man 
fuck a man right now because if so many black women did not spend their time on YouTube listening to all this different type of content about how to find white men, how to find Asian men, how to find different types of men. Imagine if you took all of that energy and listened to content creators, black female content creators who are teaching you on YouTube how to invest in your 401k, okay? You know, learning about stocks, do a lot of you even understand uh, how to match a 401k? If you have a 401k right now through your employer, do you even know the percentage of how much they match? Imagine all these things that could be helping you instead of listening to, to content that is talking about men, 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 men. That's not helping you pay your bills. That's not helping you save for your online classes because many because some of you are even in situations to where you cannot receive financial aid. So you have no choice but to take one class at a time and save your money to actually pay for your classes out of pocket. Now imagine if you had a black woman roommate you know, that could alleviate a lot of your finances and you could put more money towards paying for your classes to get it done and over with. This is what we need to be focusing on, okay? These are the type of aspects about black womanhood and leveling up when it comes to your education, when it comes to bettering your life that we need to focus on. And, you know, finances, Rooming with other black women, creating a structured household with another black woman to achieve your goals. Do you know how many nice luxury townhomes, because you know everybody cares about luxury. Do you know how many beautiful luxury townhomes and apartments that you could actually have? If you roommate it with another black woman, you guys could, and if you don't have children, you guys could easily have a two to three bedroom townhome. And the third bedroom could be a shared, beautiful office space, absolutely gorgeous. And you have your side, she has her side. You could even have like a, a, a two bathroom thing going on and it's perfect. You know for a fact that you're going to be about your business and pay your half of the rent on time. And you know for a fact that she is definitely about her business and about her money and about her education. And she's going to do what she need to do to keep up that, keep up her end. That's the that, that is what we need to be focusing on. Okay. That, that should become the norm for a lot of black women. Stop focusing on men. Stop focusing on moving in with a man. Stop focusing on having a man pay your rent because all of that is wasted energy. It is. I'm just going to tell you the truth. I can't, I can't sugarcoat things on my channel. It would be a lot easier if you got with other black women who are about their shit and you guys collaborate and create a household together and do what you need to do. And then both of you can move on. Maybe you can, once you saved enough money, she saved enough money. Both of you can, uh, she, you can buy your house. She buys her house, you know. Um, and also another thing, when it comes to home ownership, stop thinking you have to wait on a man to buy a house. Stop. Stop thinking you have to wait to do a lot of things if you don't have a man because you're wasting time. And I'm going to be honest with a lot of you. A lot of you are even in your mid-20s and you feel like you have time, but you don't. And I know that, 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 I know that hurts to hear it, but you don't because you're already in your mid-20s and 30. You hear that? 30 is knocking right at your door. And once you hit 30, baby, everything is moving fast. Because in your mid-20s and your late 20s, you don't have time to be wasting time and playing and playing these childish games with this YouTube content and allowing a lot of this YouTube content to get in your head. You want a luxury lifestyle. You want the lifestyle that you deserve as a black woman. Start making the moves and living adjustments now to obtain that. Okay, swallow your pride, get you a good group of, of smart black brown women and get with it. 
get with it, stack up, save up, get this money, okay? Get this damn money, find a roomie, and stack, 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 stack. If you are working at a facility right now, if you're working with a company where you can get a 401k, you need to start that 401k. That's what you need to do. Save your money, get a roommate, and invest in that 401k. You get a roommate, the more money you can put towards knocking out your classes per credit hour. Okay? Go to the local community college. Okay? If the local community college is charging $100, uh, $75, $85 per credit hour, start saving the money and do the calculations. Okay, you know that they're charging $85, $90 per credit hour. Um, so you start planning. So if so, how much can you save according to per, per credit hour and how many classes can you afford to take per semester and, get, and handle your business? Because this YouTube shit is having a lot of you stagnant. I'm going to be honest with you. I am not going to lie to you. I'm only going to tell you things that are going to help you. Okay? So, you know, please, really think about these type of living situations. Um, <clears throat> because not only will it, again, not only will it help financially, but imagine, you know, sh sharing a space with another black woman who is like-minded with you that cares about their safety. You won't need to be finding black women who's not gonna play about their shit. You won't need to be rooming with black women who is not about to let every Tom, Dick, and Harry up into y'all apartment or your town home. You need to find black women <clears throat> who wanna stay their ass home, take care of their home, take care of their apartment, keep their place up, keep a clean environment, and want to handle their business. And that's about their money. That's the type of black woman you need to be latching yourself on to and be like, look, sis, we've been friends for a minute. I just want to give this, I, I just want to propose this idea to you. you. You know, sis, you know what I'm about. You know, I've told you what I'm about. You know, I'm about my money. And I know you're about your money. I know you, you're you about your business. So, I mean, let's let's do this together. You know, let's go 50-50. Let's go half and stack our money and save some money. Because, you know, I know you're going to do what you need to do. And I'm definitely going to do what I need to do. You know what I mean? And I'm about my business. I work full time. You work full time. You know, let's, let's alleviate some stress for each other. Help each other out in also benefit in the process that's how y'all need to start thinking that's how y'all need to start thinking like you all need to develop friendships like that you understand what I'm saying and it's just it's so many benefits that can come along with these type of living arrangements for black women that's going to benefit the both of you and ladies you have to understand as hard as it is for you to listen to this, a man is not coming to save you right now. You have to save yourself. And that is the honest of God truth. Black women, ladies, work together, stick together, create living environments together. If you guys are really cl close friends, if you're willing to take that plunge, even invest together. There's nothing wrong with buying a home with your best friend. Do you under do you all understand equity? Do you understand um how how a, how you can profit from a home years down the road? That's going to benefit the both of you. You don't see you don't need a man to do certain things that's going to benefit you financially. Now, if a, if you have a man in your life that's willing to help, that's even better. But understand this. You know, it's on you. It's on you. And especially you all in your, your mid-20s and your late-20s, get on it. Because I'm telling you, like, I'm telling you, like, I'm 30 now. And when I tell you, I feel like to, I just, I feel like I just turned 30. <laughs> and literally, I feel like, oh, my God, it's 31, 32, 30. It's, right, it's coming up fast. It's coming up fast. So we don't have to. We don't have time to waste. 
you know, just keep this in mind. Keep this in your psyche. Be open. Sorry, ladies. Be open to this. Be open to having a roommate. Being, be open to having a roommate uh, as a black woman who wants to do the same things you want to do in life. And with this economy and with everything going on and everything that a lot of us as black women have to go through when it comes to finances and trying to juggle a bunch of stuff by ourselves, why not alleviate a lot of that stuff? Because quite frankly, it's a lot of alleviated stress going 50-50 with another woman. It really is. Be open-minded to it. Stop, stop, you know, why struggle if you don't have to by yourself? Swallow your pride. Because it's not even like you have to be in a crap apartment staring at somebody face to face. If you're making X amount of money, she's making X amount of money, y'all can easily get y'all a nice close to $2,000 a month townhome or apartment. A two bedroom at that. You know, you're going to be working full time. She's going to be working full time. Then you're going to be going to school. She's going to be going to school. So both of you have things going on to where you're you're not going to be in each other's face all the time anyways. You know, both of you are going to have different schedules. You may work nights and then she got to go to work at afternoons or maybe she work days. You know, just start thinking about stuff like this and 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 alleviate some stress for yourself because your main goal is to get to your bag and finish your education and you need to you need to make a living situation to where that can erase as much stress as possible so ladies i'm really thinking about probably doing a part two to this um, cause I just, I have so much to say about this. Um, if you ladies have any comments or questions or even concerns, please leave it in the comment section. I want to thank you so much for listening to my video and I will talk to you later. Bye.